Hello friends, Terry Jo coming at you here. Today we are back in Baltimore, Maryland to visit the grave and death site of 19th century Gothic poet of mystery and macabre, Edgar Allan Poe. The marble and granite marker pays tribute to the Gothic author famous for the raven, the black cat, and other works. Edgar Allan Poe was found semi-conscious on October the 3rd, 1849, outside a tavern in Baltimore, Maryland. He was taken by carriage to Washington University Hospital, where he died four days later on October the 7th at age 40. Also buried here are Maria Muddy Poe Clem, who was Edgar Allan Poe's aunt and mother-in-law, and his young bride, Virginia Clem Poe. She was the daughter of Maria Poe Clem. She married Edgar Allan Poe when she was just 13 years old. Sadly, Virginia died when she was only 24. She succumbed to tuberculosis. She died two years before Edgar Allan Poe in 1847. And just in case you haven't figured it out yet, Virginia was Edgar Allan Poe's first cousin. Poe has the unique distinction of having tombstones in two different parts of the same church cemetery. He was originally buried here from 1849 to 1875. We are approaching the death site of Edgar Allan Poe at the Church Hospital, formerly known as Washington University Hospital, and has also been referred to as Washington College Hospital. Poe's death continues to be shrouded in mystery. There's multiple theories as to how he died on October the 7th, 1849. Some of those theories include alcohol poisoning, heavy metal poisoning, carbon monoxide poisoning, that he was beat to death. One of the more recent theories suggest that the author succumbed to a brain tumor, which would explain his erratic behavior in the days leading up to his demise. Poe grew up in Richmond, Virginia, and during his career, he lived in several homes across several cities up and down the East Coast. They include New York, Philadelphia, and of course, right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Poe lived in this home when he began his literary career in 1833.
This little home has become a destination for Poe pilgrims from around the world. The house and museum is overseen by the nonprofit Poe Baltimore.